Who doesn't like a good cup of coffee? Actually me. I really don't like the taste of coffee at all. I'm more of a tea drinker. I love tea. But being married to a big coffee enthusiast, I do have to stay aware of what is good and what is not so good coffee. There are hundreds of places in the Cincinnati area to grab a cup of coffee. In this video, I'm gonna narrow it down to the top nine coffee shops in Cincinnati. We're getting into it right now. What's up, it's Victor Fam, your Cincinnati Realtor. If you're new to this channel, here we talk about all things Cincinnati. We talk about all things related to real estate in Cincinnati. So if that sounds like something that could benefit your YouTube life, consider subscribing. That way you don't miss anything new about Cincinnati. I also happen to be a full-time realtor here in Cincinnati. So if you're thinking about making a move, buying or selling here in Cincinnati, Ohio, or anywhere in the Cincinnati suburbs, feel free to reach out. I got your back. Remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic. Okay, top nine places to get a good cup of coffee according to the people, the coffee drinking people. Number nine is La Terza, located in the posh suburb of Marymount. Experience International Coffee is the model at La Terza. You can get some of the best hot and cold brews here. It is a pretty good sized place and they have a lot of seating and a really neat little outdoor botanical setup. And according to the reviews, the espresso is a hot item on the menu. Number eight is Cafe Vavasi. Cafe Vavasi is located in the Walnut Hills area. Anytime before 6 p.m. you can stop in for a fresh cup of coffee or espresso. If you come in at night, it transitions into a live jazz lounge where you can also get some alcoholic beverages or maybe mix them together. Are you crazy? I don't know if that's a thing. Do people mix coffee and alcohol? <laughs> Number seven is Bean and Barley. You're gonna be up in Madison and Road between Hyde Park and Walnut Hills. Bean and Barley is a really popular spot where you can get both fresh brewed coffee and beer. Yes, they brew their own coffee and beer here. I don't know, I guess this is a thing, having coffee and alcohol as options. Hell yeah! <laughs> Number six, Awakenings Coffee Brewers in the Hyde Park neighborhood off of Erie Avenue. At Awakenings, you can get coffee all the way up until the evening time. They have some pretty popular warm and cold brews. Also a nice pastry and breakfast selection, as well as some select wines. Number five, Wyoming Community Coffee in the community of Wyoming. This is a great location and a great neighborhood. Enjoy some sweets and breakfast items with your fresh cup of coffee in this friendly and modern looking coffee shop. Number four is Black Coffee Lounge. If you're in the downtown area and you're in the mood for some good coffee and some good vibes, check out Black Coffee Lounge. They have some great food options and also don't forget to check out the very popular Wakanda. Black Coffee Lounge around the downtown and OTR districts. Number three, Iris Book Cafe. This is a book themed coffee shop in Over the Rhine. In addition to some great brews, you can browse the used book selection or enjoy some of the food options, including some great vegan options. Since we are on the topic of coffee, I do wanna shout out a colleague of mine, Kyle Roundtree. He actually runs a nonprofit company that makes beans and grounds just like this. The company is called Yield Coffee Roasters and they distribute these to various coffee establishments throughout the Cincinnati metro area. Yield partners with donors to help provide clean water and sanitation to underserved areas in Nicaragua. And the guy Kyle who runs this company right here also happens to run a title company here in Cincinnati that many of my clients have used. If you don't know what a title company is in Ohio, you need a title company or an attorney, somebody like that to help close your deal. They basically do all the paperwork, make sure your title was clean and make sure everybody gets paid and the money goes to all the right places. I'll leave his link for this as well as the link to his title company if you need those types of services. But this is a great coffee. My wife drank it. She said it was absolutely delicious. Like I said, I don't drink coffee, but I do smell it. it smells great. Is that weird? I don't drink coffee, but I love how it smells. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. Okay, number two is going to be Deeper Roots. Deeper Roots is a coffee and tea shop with two locations, one in Oakley and one in the downtown area. I've been to the one in Oakley personally. It was really nice. I had a great time there. Great vibes in there. Not a lot of seating, but overall it was great vibes and the lines were moving pretty fast. So people were moving in and out 
pretty quickly. And number one is going to be Mom and Them Coffee over in the neighborhood of Madisonville. This is a really popular one in a great area, a really thriving neighborhood. They have a ton of brews to choose from. Also a great wine selection, if that's what you need in your life, and some nice healthy food options as well. So there's many more coffee shops to choose from in the Cincinnati area. This is basically just a consensus of the most popular ones that I could find. So I do hope that helps you find a good cup or bag of coffee if you're on the prowl for coffee in Cincinnati. If you're thinking about making a move to Cincy and buying a home here or anywhere in the Cincinnati suburbs, feel free to reach out to me. I definitely got your back. If you're curious about some more fun things to do, see and eat in Cincinnati, check out this playlist right here. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic.